Hi everyone, in today's video, I want to review this product that's called the Book Palette. This is actually a spiral bound uh, palette book. By the way, this was actually recommended to me by one of you guys on YouTube. I went online and did a search and there aren't many places where this is being sold. So I bought this on eBay for US $22.95. This is made by Michello, the same company that makes the Mission Gold line of watercolors. This is made in South Korea and we have all this Korean text and there are some instructions here. So I guess you can actually store paint on the wells. So I can probably remove this. So this is the front cover which is made with some sort of soft plastic and you can see it's curved, it's warped so I may have to use a clip to clip it down to keep it compact. Spiral bow here at the left. The mixing wells are huge. It's 6.5 centimeters by 8 centimeters so this is definitely big enough for even the biggest brushes. And there are eight mixing wells. These are all made of plastic and this plastic it's harder compared to the cover. So the wells are stacked up one by one like this. Height of the well it's about four millimeter. On the back we have this soft cover as well. And this book palette, it actually comes with a carrying case that's made of plastic and there's this uh, plastic zip here at the top. Alright, let's put some paint on the palette and see how it mixes. Let's have some water on the palette first. So you can see how the water, it would collect into a drop this. Let's have red. So this is very typical of plastic pellets to have um, the water collect like this. Just for comparison purposes, I have a porcelain pellet on the side. So with the plastic pellet, you can see how the water it would pool together and shrink. But on this porcelain pellet, the colors, the paint and the wash, it would actually spread out. It will not pull together. So it's easier to see the color that you are mixing here compared to what I have here on the plastic palette. The surface texture, it's actually matte, not glossy. So let me see if I can um, make the performance better by scrubbing it with this magic sponge to basically smoothen out the surface. Alright, now I can feel that this is slightly smoother compared to this. Let's have paint on the palette again. So we still see the paint sort of strings, but compared to here, you can see this shrinks very quickly into this small blob but here on the right side, you can still see this large area. It shrinks slightly, but not as bad compared to this. So before using this palette for the first time, I highly recommend using a magic sponge to basically smoothen out the surface. And now let's see whether or not the wells will stain. I see this behavior, it's uh, not nice. So it does stain slightly, but it's not too bad. So I guess if you have to paint on the palette, you can just uh, leave it there. Just clean out the wet washes, those that can drip and you can just flip to the next palette and the next. I'm not sure how practical this product is or the possible use cases for this. 
Let me know in the comment section below how you would use the book palette. I'm thinking of actually cutting this into half and bring the half together with my sketchbook so that I can have access to larger mixing wells. Um, that could be one way to use this rather than bringing the whole thing outdoors. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this video is helpful and do subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you can get notified whenever I have a new video out. See you in the next video. Bye.